Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson met with the Ukrainian Consul General today to talk about the city's efforts to help Ukrainian refugees fleeing their country as the Russian invasion continues. In support of Ukraine, the Dallas City Council unanimously approved a measure to sever ties with its sister city in Russia. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer has details tonight. Hi, Alex. Hi, Clarice. You know, the Council General of Ukraine says that local Ukrainians are willing to step up and be sponsors to any a refugee who may end up here in Texas. Meanwhile, a refugee services of Texas estimate somewhere between 3 and 5 percent of all Ukrainian refugees will end up somewhere in the state. Uh, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, meanwhile, is supporting Ukraine in other ways. Thank you, Mayor, being on the right side of history together with Ukraine. The Ukrainian Council General meeting with Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson Monday. The two men discussed how the city of Dallas can support Ukraine. There's a small percentage of, the, of pension funds that have investments that have Russian connections that are, I think are being looked at. Dallas City Council voted unanimously to pass a resolution severing ties with its sister city in Russia until the war is over. But this is our policy at this thank point. You. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much for, for being here today. But I want you to have a copy of it. Thank you so much, sir. Vitaly Tarasuk is the head of the newly established Ukrainian consulate in Houston. The office opened last December, months before the conflict began. Tarasuk is urging companies in North Texas to cut any financial ties with Russia. He called out one company by name, well known for its paper products. Like the company Kimberly Clark that's uh, based in Irving. Well, they're suspending future investments, but still do uh, the current operations. And we encourage all of the companies to uh, cut the ties completely, at least until the aggression is over. Then there's the humanitarian effort. Millions of Ukrainians have fled the country. Last week, President Joe Biden announced that the U.S. would accept some 100,000 Ukrainian refugees in the coming months. Refugee Services of Texas expects to receive some 3,000, though a timeline has not yet been set. Typically, we receive about two weeks notice that a family is coming in. And from there, we set up their apartment um, with welcome teams. Tarasuk says many local Ukrainians he met with at a church service Sunday said they too would be willing to serve as hosts. Tarasuk is grateful to the support his country is getting from North Texas. Can I present you with the Ukrainian flag that uh, you may have here in the City Hall. God bless the sovereign nation of Ukraine, and we will display this proudly in our flag room. So and Refugee Services of Texas says that there is a sizable Ukrainian population in Fort Worth, so there's a good chance that many of those refugees could be reunited uh, with relatives there. Uh, refugee Services of Texas says once uh, those folks begin to arrive, they will help uh, set them up with an apartment, get them employment, and enroll their kids in school. Alex Boyer, live at Dallas City Hall. Thanks.